Next, we want to talk about the call flow and, and the key functions involved in open caching. We're going to start from the left with the user, obviously. And then the first node is what's known as the OCN or open caching node. This is the actual cache nodes that distribute the content to the users. And then OCC is the open cache controller, which acts as the front end for the entire open caching system and basically the entry point for the delegating entities like the CDNs that are the, the fourth and final element um, in the equation. The typical call flow would start with um, service provisioning, which is the first interface that, that we're defining. During service provisioning, a CDN would um, basically tell an open cache controller what are the various criteria for the delivery services that it wishes to delegate, stuff like what are the host names involved, how to calculate cache keys, is the URI signing involved, are we using HTTPS or HTTP, Quick, any other types of transport protocols, and basically allow the OCC to provision that service. On the inverse direction, the OCC notifies the CDNs of the footprint um, of the entire open caching system in this individual ISP, what are the capabilities of, the, of that open caching system, and also what are the SLA that that CDN is expecting to get from the OCS deployed in this uh, specific ISP. Once service provisioning is complete, and we essentially completed the bootstrap process, we, we move on to actually the delegation process from the CDN into the open caching system. This process is known as request routing and is the second part of the, the call flow. The way that request routing works is a CDN typically would receive a request from, from a user after being delegated to it from a, a given publisher. And instead of being um, delivered as it would do today from its own caches, the CDN would delegate the content delivery through the OCC to the, to the open cache system in this uh, individual ISP. The OCC, in turn, would have to locate the proper OCN to deliver that content and then steer traffic into that OCN so that it can actually deliver the content to the user. As part of the SVA, we're de we've defined two methods for request routing. The primary method is using HTTPS redirect, where a CDN node would actually issue a 302 redirect, and then that would be uh, destined at the given OCC. The secondary method is to do uh, DNS CNAME delegation. Again, delegation from the CDN into um, the CNAME for the various open caching system in that given ISP. Finally, after the content is actually delivered, the open caching system has to report back to the delegating entity how the content was delivered and basically issue logs that the CDN can use for various purposes such as debugging the, co the call flow but also obviously billing the, the given publisher that was the original content provider in this equation. The fourth and final piece in the call flow is content management. This is something that uh, the delegating entity, typically the CDN, can use to do um, functions such as provisioning of the content for prepositioning, also removal of the content, so um, stuff like purging of the content or invalidation inside the entire open caching system for the given service provider. Under the umbrella of the streaming video lines, we've defined all four of these interfaces and have open specifications that allow anybody in the ecosystem to, the, to actually develop them. We've also moved on to perform POCs of this entire architecture involving the various parties that, uh, that compose the video ecosystem. So this means both publishers, CDNs, service providers that have open caching systems deployed in their network, and open caching vendors that actually provided the gear to uh, create this infrastructure. There is a great industry collaboration around creating the, the specification for open caching, and we have uh, participants from the various stakeholders of the industry all aligning around this architecture. And as time goes by, we're seeing greater and greater adoption for open caching in, in a movement to actually improve quality of experience and reach TV-grade quality for any video uh, being delivered across the internet.